What's up, Trinology family? Welcome back to another episode of the Trinology News Talk. And today we have a couple of rumors, announcements, and updates for you guys. So without further than that, let's get straight into it. As you know, um, Sony has its own universe in regards to the uh, the, the Spider-Man uh, uh, characters. So they have officially announced the titles for their Spider-Verse um, uh, uh, for their Spider-Verse movies. It's called uh, it's called Sp Spunk, yeah. So the uh, yeah, Spunk, which is uh, initially says for Sony Spider-Man Marvel movie universe. So the the name is the name itself uh, is okay, but it, but the initials it's kind of weird. We have to say Spunk, Spunk. So why can't why can't they just go with uh, a, a, a SMU? It says for uh, Sony uh, Sony Marvel universe. But um, but yeah, that's what they that's what they going for. Some people kind of tweaked it with with the name a little bit, and um, it's okay. So uh, even though that they still make good movies, don't get me wrong with the, with the Spider Man characters, because uh, with Venom, and you got um, uh, Morpheus coming soon, Venom two coming soon. So <clears throat> I'm not surprised about the, uh, how they chose with the name, but but they going for it. So I'm gonna stick by their side. So. Uh, other than that, moving on to our next topic. So we've been debating on uh, when the movie theater is going to be uh, back in open in time. So Christopher Nolan says that he wants Tenet, his latest movie Tenet, to revise the movie theaters when it comes out and when when Tenet comes out in July or in July. So most people, uh, uh, well, including myself, uh, uh, think that Tenet. It's the most important film of this year because us filmmakers, we look at uh, towards Christopher Nolan's film as the way to like to study uh, as we go by you know, what we're doing in uh, in the film industry. So, and personally myself, I want to see this movie in um, in the theaters. I don't want to see this movie go straight into VOD or like the streaming. So, if Christopher Nolan believe that this movie would be the one. To help movie theaters uh, all over the states to open up their movie theaters, so I think that would be a good way. But um, the thing is that Warner Brothers need to make a decision by next week if that's going to be going to be the movie that's going to help movie theaters to reopen in July, or is they going to um, delay and, um, and and change their date? So Chris and Norman believes that the, it's going to uh, reopen the movie theater. So I really hope so because. Like I said before, I want to see this movie in theaters. Uh, so, yeah. Well, we're just gonna wait. Have to see um, what's gonna uh, what's gonna be the the deal with uh, with that. But um, other than that, uh, moving on to our next topic. So, <clears throat> we talked about before about the Disney World and other uh, Disney parks locations okay, trying to do in phrase of uh, uh, open up their park. So, with Disney World here in Florida. So they, uh, Disney World Parks uh, says that that Disney Springs is going to be the first phrase to uh, open up all the parks. So, so the Disney, the, so Disney Springs will begin their phrase of reopening on March twentieth. So that um, and now you can scarcely saying like, uh, uh when with Disney Springs open, does that mean all the shops is going to be open? So I would say yes. But with restrictions, like I mentioned before in my past episodes, are like you gotta wear masks, you gotta do social distancing and everything. So I don't know about the entertainment part, but um, uh, yeah, we just had to see uh, what's gonna be the other um phrase with restrictions when it comes to um them uh, doing a phrase of, of opening up uh, of their their parks. And yeah, so. Other than that, um, uh, moving on to our next uh, topic. So, the Car the Carnival Cruise Lines is announced that they're planning to restore all the ships um, and packages they viewers uh, on August first. So that will be a that's a good start to go with because, uh, like I said, like the virus could be uh, the virus could be over by uh, uh, July, August, or September. So that's a good start to uh, to, to go with, and. Um, yeah, so uh, I really hope that uh, all the carnivals, uh, cruise ships, and all the planes will be good to go with um, as far as trying to travel like to the uh, 
to, to the islands or like other type of uh, other type of countries or like in the, in the island seas and everything. So I really hope that they, they'll be start you now working out in um, uh, August 1st. But yeah, um, uh, moving on to our next one. So Dizzy's uh, Dizzy Plus, um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and more shows will be able to start filming again. So, yeah, here's a, um, a headline that, that, that reads about this topic, about this issue. Ahead to though these recommendations, including test actors for every 14 days during production, and of course, maintaining sexual standards or location in the studios, will we reduce the possibility of infection of Abdullah Millennium. However, they will also imply to a cross-brand transport for actors and crew members must show a negative t test when leaving their country. A measure that, according to the latest reports, airlines will also begin to require all their passengers within the 72 hours of arrival. They will undergo a second test and remain quarantined until they receive a, a negative result. The result will usually receive the next day. In the way they can involve the 14-day quantity in which the reserve impact um, uh, film, film budgeting. So that was the statement in regards to um, the Season Republic of uh, the Film Commission. As you need to know, the, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was filming in privilege on the Season Republic, which is now starting to live its restrictions, had to filming resuming on the delay of the uh, Marvel series and more, including a Netflix project and more. These are um, <clears throat> the series that, um, and their uh, respective uh, streaming services that they were going on. So like I can mention Winter Soldier uh, from Disney Plus, Carnival Road Season Two from Amazon, The Wheel of Time from Amazon, and 473 Translate Active, uh, a Netflix feature. So I really hope that uh, the, uh, all these series that I mentioned will get back on track. As far as uh, 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 getting back to in their production status, uh, the, the way to go. So, uh, yeah, uh, moving on to our next topic. So, like I mentioned before, the, the Disney Plus had go over 5 million subscribers with all the, their library they got. But the, like I mentioned before, the only thing that was lacking is originals. So, they had announced a couple of things that um, that's going to be um, in development. And you're getting more uh, original Disney Plus original, including... Marvel's uh, uh, Ironheart, National Treasure, Just Beyond, uh, Obi-Wan series, and more. So, I really uh, like that Disney uh, is pushing forward and listens uh, to our response in regard to, like, making more um, Disney Plus originals. And now we'll be getting more uh, original shows uh, coming up. So, I can't wait to see uh, what's uh, that's going to happen from there. So, and uh, moving on to our next one. So, Avatar 2 has been given the green light. To resume production as New Zealand starts living up the film's restrictions. Well, it's about time that it because um, Avatar, Avatar 2 was one of those um, productions that got um, delayed when, when the pandemic never started. There's no other words uh, uh, where the other um, productions um, like The Matrix 4 and any other uh, movie production the, when they're going to resume. So um, we don't know about them, but. Um, Avatar, like I mentioned, as I said, Avatar 2 has been given the green light to resume their film production as, as, as for uh, going on. And um, uh, moving on to our next one, says here, Tom Cruise is making out of this world movie confirmed by NASA, which means he's going to be shooting a movie in space. Now, let me tell y'all one thing. It has nothing to do or no connections to his uh, uh, two upcoming Mission Impossible movie. So this is going to be a, a new, total, brand new movie from Tom, from Tom Cruise, Fill Me Up in Space. Now, when I think about that, it kind of reminds me of Gravity with Sandra Bullock and, uh, and uh, George Clooney. So we just have to see um, what's the actual, uh, the, the, the movie's going to be, uh, what's the story behind it, and uh, all we know is that um, Tom Cruise is shooting a movie in space. And we just can't wait to see uh, a little, a little more de details about that. And uh, moving on to our next topic. So, we are, we all been talking about the NBA of uh, when they're going to start uh, resuming this season or what's going to happen. So, we talked about before that, that the NBA wants to try to re uh, resume this season at, at the Walt Disney World Resort 
as as far as as doing the playoffs around that time and trying to crown a champion by Labor Day weekend. So if they're going to go with this route, here's another report says that the NBA is considering starting their 20, 2021 season on Christmas and then running through July or August by the time they reach the, the end of the season at, at the playoff time. So if they're going to go this route with um, starting their 2021 season on Christmas, that means that they have to start the playoffs around this time um, and, and get a, a crown of champion by Labor Day re- weekend, which they predicted, which they want to do. So that's my uh, prediction on that. When I see this headline saying, like, oh, that they're going to start the new season on Christmas and then run to uh, July or August. So that's my uh, honest opinion about that. But we'll just got to see with more updates as far as right now. All the NBA team is still at their practice facilities doing that. We're uh, waiting on uh, what's going to happen, when the playoffs going to start, when the next season is going to be coming back. And so, but yeah. And other than that, uh, our final topic for today is that that the WWE and AEW are considering of bringing fans back the, uh, to their sh- to their shows. They started doing live shows instead of taping shows for next week. But there's no official word that they're going to actually do that because um, the companies want to make sure the safety not only for the for the wrestlers that's performing. But also the staff that's working like during these uh, uh, these tape shows that they be doing in their live shows and event, and don't want to risk the um, having fans like getting sick or like the, uh, having wrestlers getting sick and everything, and their workers getting sick and all. Uh, but but um, but yeah, I don't think that uh, they want to get fans back in the um to do live shows. But I don't think that's gonna happen anytime because of the, the, the pandemic that's going on right now. But yeah, we just have to wait and see. When that uh, official restriction is going to happen of uh, bringing fans back, but um, other till then, this is just going to continue doing with the tape shows with no audience. Uh, um, they're still doing great. They're still doing uh, uh, giving the best shows possible as they can. But um, that's the um, that that's my uh, opinion about that. But yeah, that was our topics for today, guys. So. Let me know, guys, in the comment section what you thought. Of, what's your thoughts and opinions about these topics that we just talked today? And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell when new episodes are upload. And other than that, this is Trico, and I'm signing off. Peace.